why Christianity is different. Now, this is a, this is a topic I've wanted to talk about on the channel for uh, for a while now. Uh, about well, all sorts of stuff about you know, like theology, faith, religion, and uh, yeah, I'm here to say to you today that yes, I am a Christian, and I want to talk about it today. And uh, I want to talk about why Christianity is different from any other religion. Crazy people over there. Um, basically, guys. Uh, well, first off, I, I just came from church. Really good meeting. Uh, you know, I've actually only recently started going to church again, and uh, I'm enjoying it. It's good. It's um, you know, got to be around people. I think uh, I like, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good. But why I think Christianity is different is because it says in the Bible that we are saved by grace through faith, and it is not of ourselves. It is the gift of God, uh, lest any man should boast. And if you compare that to any, well, any religion, now, uh, like Mormonism, it says the exact opposite. I mean, it says in the book of Nephi, in the book of Mormon, we are saved by grace through faith um, after all we can do. Now, that is, a, that is just a complete... Um, that completely differentiates uh, Mormonism from Christianity because, it, you know, what Christianity is all about. I mean, it's it's about why Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Um, I didn't see any other prophet sacrificing himself. If I if I am wrong, then put it down below in the comments. Um, but you know, Jesus is you know God is like so reverent. I mean, you know, God is so humble and all all knowing that you know He sent His Son, basically God in human flesh. Uh, down to earth to be a ransom for our sins and god didn't have to god didn't need to do that but you know he wanted to save humanity but humanity hates god humanity is you know we all have a sinful nature inside of us you know through uh you know uh, the curse that adam and eve brought brought down and they just decided to go their own way and that was the human condition that was a human that is uh obviously you know satan uh you know led them into, te uh, into temptation and that's what happened but you're yeah, quite unfortunate but um yeah you know that's just the love of god right there to actually send this and down to die for us and uh I, you know this is why it's different because in christianity you can't actually work your way to heaven it says you know none none are good none uh you know all have fallen short of the glory of god so we actually need a savior i feel like in different religions you know especially islam and uh, Buddhism and Hinduism, you have to earn your way to heaven, you have to do good works, you have to, you know, be righteous, you have to try and be perfect. And, uh, you know, the Bible says, you know, it is not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Um, so it sort of takes that pressure off you then. It sort of goes like, wow, like what love is this? Like it's it's, uh, it's incredible. Like I don't actually have to work for God's love, like God already, already loves me. And through that, through genuine repentance and becoming a Christian, then you would want to do God's will. Um, but you know he doesn't force it on you. God is a gentleman. He, he's not a god of um, you know that that would force anything upon you. You know it, you at the end of the day, guys, you've got to make that decision uh, yourself. But uh, yeah, that, you know that's that's sort of like the gospel. You know it's um, you know Jesus two thousand years ago came down, um, you know a sinless man and died on died on the cross for our sins. Uh, you know uh, for like a ransom for um, our wrongdoings. So you know I mean you know we could never. You know, I mean, um, we could never, we could never earn God's love. I could never earn God's love because I know I'm inside. I'm not a good person. Um, even you know, most people would consider themselves good people, but when you actually line them up, line them up with the Ten Commandments, and um, you know, there's there's about a hundred odd, I think, um, definitions of good in the in, you know in the dictionary, and the number one is moral excellence in thought, word, and deed. And none of us have got that. So we are not good people and we need a savior. So guys, it's just something to think about. If I don't, you know, I don't care what you are. You could be Muslim, you could be atheist, you could be a Hindu, you could be, a, what you know, you could be whatever. But, you know, just think about it, guys. And like, really, you know, I've, um, you know, been looking into different religions and I, it's, it's good to have a different perspective on things. But when you actually look at uh, what Jesus did on the cross for us, I mean, it's it's uh, really something to look back on, you know, it's like, well, it's like, wow. So guys, you know, it's just something I want to talk about today. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please uh, comment, like, and share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.